Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to take the integral of cosecant x dx and I'm also going to take the integral of cosecant squared x later in this video. So the first thing we want to do is multiply the multiply cosecant x with cosecant x plus cotangent x and divided by cosecant x plus cotangent x. This is basically like we did nothing because this can just cancel out. And if we use the substitution rule and set u is equal to cosecant x plus cotangent x, then we can find for the du, which would be equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x minus cosecant squared x dx. Now, as you can see, if we multiply these um, cosecant x with cosecant x plus cotangent x, we would get what we got for du, except we have all ne negative signs. So if we multiply negative 1 on both sides, we would have negative du is equal to cosecant x times cotangent x plus cosecant squared x dx. We're going to replace what we have in the denominator and dx with negative du. The negative can just go in the front and 1 over u because we substituted cosecant x plus cotangent x with u and du. If we take the integral of negative 1 over u, we have negative ln absolute value of u plus c. If we substitute the u back, we would have L, negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x. You can leave your answer as this, but you can simplify it a little bit more by by working on the, with the ln. The negative can go to the top so that it's an exponent. So I'm just going to focus on this part. Plus cotangent x to the power of negative 1. And if, if we do that, if, if we have negative 1 for the exponent, and we would have ln absolute value of 1 over cosecant x plus cotangent x. And let's just ignore the ln for now and, and try to simplify what we have inside the absolute values. We know that cosecant x is equal to 1 over sine x. And cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x. We can add these two fractions together. And we would have 1 over cosine x over, oh wait, sorry, 1 plus cosine x over sine x. I'm going to bring this up here. and this 1 over 1 plus cosine x over sine x is equal to sine x over 1 plus cosine x. Since we don't have enough room now, I'm going to erase this part and work over here. We're going to multiply 1 minus cosine x on top and bottom And then we would get sine x times 1 minus cosine x for the numerator. And for the denominator, 
If we multiply these two together, then we would have 1 minus cosine squared x. As you can see, this is a um, Pythagorean identity, and 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to sine squared x. We're going to multiply um, the numerator together. And we can separate these two so that we would have two different fractions. And if we're going to have sine x over sine squared x for one numerator, I mean for one fraction, which is equal to one over sine x. And for the other fraction, we would have minus sine x sine x times cosine x divided by sine squared x, which is equal to cosine x divided by sine x. 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x, and cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent x. So cosecant x minus cotangent x. We're done simplifying what we had in the beginning, cosecant x plus cotangent x. Now we can just substitute this into here, and I'll do that on top here. We don't have the negative anymore. We just have ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x, and plus c. So now I'm actually done for the integral of cosecant x dx. Now I'm going to solve for the integral of cosecant squared x, which should be pretty easy since so I'll do it just on the top here. The integral of cosecant squared x dx, well, first of all, let me remind you guys that the, the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant squared x. But we don't have a negative here, so if we take the integral of positive cosecant squared x dx, then we would have negative cotangent x plus c. So negative cotangent x plus c would be the answer for the integral of cosecant squared x dx. Now, thank you for watching everyone. In this video, I s solved for the integral of cosecant x and cotangent squared x. And in the next video, I'm going to be solving for the integral of cosecant cubed x.